I'm always doing very tight and very detailed watercolours, so I thought I would have a go at doing a much more expressive kind of painting. So for this I decided to dust off and uncover my classic watercolour set, you know, the real stuff. Uh, and I decided to use Windsor Yellow, of which there's not much left, Cadmium Yellow, which is a bit more orangey, uh, French Ultramarine, nice dark blue, uh, and some Burnt Umber, really nice dark brown. And I'm using uh, 300 GSM um, rough watercolour paper and just two brushes, a size 8 and a size 4 sable. So the first thing that I do after penciling the flower out on the paper is get a nice light watery wash of Windsor Yellow and I just cover the whole thing with a size 8 brush. After letting that dry I then decide to do the background and here I'm just using a lot of water and I'm using Windsor Yellow and I'm using the French uh, Ultramarine Blue. So I'm combining yellow and blue on the paper to get the kind of greeny bluey yellows that I need for the background and it's really nice and fluid and I'm letting all of the colours just run together and mix on the paper. Not being too fussy about it, just you know, letting the, the colours do their own thing once I've taken the brush off the paper. Next I decided to do the petals and I used exactly the same colours for this. I'm using uh, the Windsor Yellow and the French Ultramarine Blue uh, and I'm just using exactly the same process, mixing each of the petals with lots of water, lots of colour, doing the mixing actually on the petal itself and letting the colours run about and run together. The thing that I'm doing slightly differently is I'm leaving some little edges or some little lines and spaces across each of the petals as the background colour, the, the kind of uh, the Windsor Yellow that I put on at the start. So they're going to be my sort of little highlights on the leaf, showing some of the edges of the leaves. I'm hoping that by putting those highlights and little edges in on the petals, it'll make them stand out a bit from the background because of course I'm using the exact same colours for the petals as I am in the background. Uh, and if I'm not careful about how I do that, then some of those um, petals will get sucked into the background. I won't stand out enough. From there I move on to the centre of the daffodil and the centre is always a slightly warmer yellow I find than the petal. So this is where I introduce a bit of cadmium yellow and also the burnt umber brown to try and get some slightly deeper shadows on the centre of, of the daffodil um, but also a kind of a warmer feel through the different yellows. I'm still using Windsor yellow in there and I'm still using little droplets of the ultramarine blue just to make sure it's dark enough in places but I'm trying to use a full combination of those yellows and colours now so that it'll look warmer but also have slightly darker shadows and have you know a few more contrasts than the petals behind it. After the initial uh, wet into wet kind of washes that I've put on there I decided that the centre needed to be darker so I put a little bit of wet paint on dry here and being careful because I'm mixing a little bit on top of existing colour and if you mix too much you will end up blending it with the colour below so I've got to work quite quickly and quite deftly here to make sure that doesn't happen. It's at this point that I decided that the, uh, the petals were too pale, too light. So I mix up a green, again just using Windsor Yellow and French Ultramarine, and I go in there with a size 4 brush here, and I'm putting some extra layers of that kind of bluey green on top of areas of the petals, mostly the shadow areas, just to give them a bit more uh, oomph and a bit more depth in the background. Um, some areas are put on a bit too thickly, there's a little bit too much fluid, so you see me sort of just like fading it out there. Then I start working on the, um, the center, the, the stamen bit that, that's growing out from the very middle. Uh, and that needs a little bit of shadow, a little bit of brown and yellow putting on it, just to show that it's actually inside that kind of cone shape. Uh, and then I need to work on this little bit. What I'm doing here is using fresh water and just rubbing over the paint, mixing it with the fresh water, uh, and then spreading it out to try and make it a bit lighter. I decided that I needed to add some of the stalks and the leaves into the background here, so I, uh, I mixed quite a dark uh, French Ultramarine and Windsor Yellow kind of mixture together and then get a big fat size 8 brush here and I just start putting in some of these um, kind of vertical, kind of diagonal uh, leaves and stalks in the background behind the flower uh, and quite thickly near the base and then just poking up just quite thinly and, and sort of fading out above the daffodil because uh, I just feel it needs something to make it jump out from the background. It's using the same colours as the background and the, the flower so it was looking a bit too close to it. Almost done and I just can't resist adding a little couple of dots and little sort of polleny bits to the very centre on the stamen just to give it a little bit of extra texture. Ah, uh, so that's the finished piece. I think I'm going to leave it as it is before I overdo it and ruin some stuff. Um, what I like about it is I like I like how runny it is. Uh, I like all of this kind of runny expressive stuff in the background. That looks really good and I like the fact that I used a limited palette to get it done. 
Um, I also like working straight from the pans as well instead of mixing lots of colors on a palette like I would normally do. What I don't like about it is the brown in the center. I think it looks okay, but because I didn't add any brown on the petals in the background, it, it I don't know, it looks kind of weird. It's, it's like two different plants. Uh, and I think I overdid the water and the color on this center left, and that maybe didn't work out. Um, I mean, I like it because it's different to what I would normally do. This is the kind of work that I'd normally do, much tighter, much more detailed. Uh, and I know it's unfair to compare two different flowers, but... You know, I like this, but I also like the fact that I've got this expressive kind of quality going on now, which is more your sort of classic watercolour. Um, so, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment below, tell me which you, what you think, which one you prefer, anything like that.